Detective Norman, can I join you? Sorry for the delay, but I didn't want anybody seeing me, if you know what I mean. What can I get you, sir? Just a coffee. Coming right up. It's not my habit to sit with people like you. Got a business proposition for you, Detective. I ain't no businessman. And even if I were, I wouldn't be doing business with the likes of you. I don't usually do business with your kind either. But this is a bit of a strange deal. Good for you and your superiors, and good for me. It concerns a certain kind of trade. Trade? Well, let's just say that I hold a high position in a not-so-legal organization. It's just the kind of organization people such as yourself would like to know a lot about. And I, on the other hand, for certain reasons, don't want... Your coffee, sir. Thanks. I have my own personal reasons why I don't want to be associated with this organization. It ain't too easy to leave this kind of business, if you know what I mean. I think I know where you're coming from. You'll get a bullet in your head if you don't disappear quickly, right? That's not the only reason. Got any kids, Detective? I've got a wife and daughter. I don't want them to have any problems because of me. Yeah, well, I ain't just gonna hand out protection to any wop crook. You should have thought about them kids before, because I... Sure, sure. Listen, I don't want something for nothing. So here's the deal. Does the name Salieri mean anything to you? Salieri? It damn well does. You got something to come with him? You could say that. I've worked for him for several years. Now he wants to rub me out. If you protect my family and me, I'll tell you everything. Names, dates, accounts, everything. Enough to put him away for life. I ain't Santa Claus. If I go to the chief with this, I need to know everything you know. And I have to be sure you'll testify in court. Sure. If you ain't in a hurry, I'll tell you my whole story. And all the deals I've worked on over the years. Okay. I've got time, and I'm listening. <laughs> 